It's been a while since I've done any kind of traveling. With everything slowly getting back to normal, I thought, why not take a short trip and just get away for a bit? I'll explore a new place, have some good food, and shoot some film while I'm at it. Je suis un photographe de rue, je vis en paix. Je suis un photographe de rue, je vis en paix. Whenever I'm out exploring a new place and photographing it, I like to give myself a couple of simple things to focus on. It's easy to get distracted when you're traveling. Everything will have your attention because it's all new and exciting. And that will usually lead to a lot of random photos that don't really tell you much about the place at all. What I'll do is I'll try to find three to five things that I notice right away when I'm walking around the streets. These first impressions are the ones that will stick with you and remind you of this place that you're in many years later. In Montreal, what immediately stood out to me was the city's architecture. There's a ton of history here. It almost feels like you're somewhere in Europe. The people here dress well. Everything is in French, and the walls are usually covered in large murals and graffiti. That's about it. I stuck to these simple mini themes in my head for the entire trip, and gave myself a bit of guidance on what to photograph.
I don't shoot a lot of film these days, but I do try to whenever I travel. It's nice to have a physical souvenir at the end of your trip. Some people collect magnets and postcards of a place. I like to have my own negatives. A shooting film also makes me care less. I can focus more on enjoying myself instead of stressing about the photos that I'm making. It might sound a bit strange to say this, given how expensive film is these days, but I really do care a lot less. I think a big part of it is because I'm actually hoping to get surprised by the accidents you get from film. Everything from the color tones, the grain, flares, and light leaks. These are all things that I might be able to learn from and apply to my digital photography. That's also why I have this disposable camera with me. It further amplifies that don't give a shit mentality. It feels free and exciting. I had a lot of doubts when I sent these rolls out to get developed. When I had Lomography 800 loaded, the sun was strong. And when I had Kodak Gold, it rained. Ideally, I would have preferred to have it the other way around. But it is what it is. I got screwed by the weather report, so I had to work with what I got. I had a feeling that Lomography 800 would be fine, even with the sun blasting. And I was right. It held up. I really love the tones coming from this stock. I think I might even try rating this at 400 next time to take a bit of contrast out of it. I was more worried about shooting Kodak Gold in dark overcast conditions. It got pretty dark at times, so to make sure that the photos didn't come out all muddy, I had to meter the film at 100 ISO and sometimes even down to 50. Shooting with the slow shutter speed on Nikon FM was risky, but I think I got away with it. As for the disposable, I didn't care much about it. I just fired away mostly with the flash on. It has an interesting look to it, and I was pleasantly surprised by some of the shots. Overall, I think these came out pretty good. Not bad for a rusty film shooter. On our last day there, the rain got a bit too heavy. I didn't want to damage my film cameras, 
so I decided to shoot the rest of the trip with the GR. It was a lot of run and gun shooting because my wife had a bunch of bakeries and coffee shops that she wanted to visit. So I just made photos along the way and outside of these shops while she did her thing. I had a good time in Montreal, really enjoyed the vibe of the city. It's very photogenic and has a ton of potential for street photography. The shooting conditions weren't ideal this time around, but again, I was there to get away and have fun, so it's all good. I do want to go back again sometime when it's warmer just to make photos. There were a lot of spots that caught my eye and I wish I had a bit more time to explore them. So yeah, I'll be back for sure. By the way, these bagels from Montreal, kind of overrated in my opinion. But that poutine and smoked meat sandwich, definitely going back for that. 